All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've been pretty busy lately, so we haven't done much videos, but I can tell you I sold this Trax. This Trax right here. This one here. And this silver one here. Now these are all 2020 models. And as we're coming to find out, uh, three of them are gonna need gas. So as I go and gas these vehicles, uh, what we're gonna talk about is my post from yesterday, where I put out a uh, you know picture and a, a comment that just said, you know, basically viewer choice. What do you guys wanna see? And put some comments and uh, we'll try to work on videos. And I'm gonna address a bunch of those today because uh, a lot of them are things that I have planned on talking about. Uh, first, Miguel, you look for dealership life, and that's what you're getting right now. We're going to have a dealership lifestyle video. Uh, we're going to keep those going. My struggle with trying to build this channel is just to try to, to make content that could possibly go viral. Like By viral, I mean 50, 60,000 views. You know, obviously, I'd love to create something that went in the millions, but, you know, I, I don't really know how to do that. I think it just has to be something that is... Uh, you know, wild and crazy, and you know, who knows? I, I I don't know. Dealership life videos will continue, and uh, today is no different. Just to give you a little background on these four tracks deals, uh, Monday night a customer had come in. They had dealt with a salesperson who's no longer with the store, and then they dealt with a salesperson who is with the store that was off that day. Uh, so I ended up helping them out. And that one car deal, they had a great experience. They um, they also possibly needed a car for their daughter. So we worked up a, a vehicle on Wednesday for their daughter. And they also referred uh, a family member who also was thinking about getting a Trax. So that one car deal turned into three car deals. Now, in gentlemanly fashion, of course, when somebody comes in and it's for a salesperson who's not there, we split that deal. What I decided to do was split two of them uh, this way, the other salesperson got a full unit uh, as far as credit, and I would also get a full unit as of credit. And wouldn't you have it, Karma kicked in, and Wednesday night after selling two Traxes, I had a previous customer come in that I haven't talked to probably about maybe a year and a half, two years, uh, who also needed a new car, and they bought a Trax. So that is all four of them. Happened literally in uh, two days, between Monday and Wednesday. Can you feel it regular? Thank you. Another video suggestion was uh, some Corvette content by uh, by a U uh, YouTuber, Cool Kev. And you know, right now we only have two Corvettes in stock: one new one, uh, 2019, one LT in black, and I have a certified pre-owned uh, C7, which I believe is a 15 or 16. I don't remember off the top of my head, but. In big news, I ordered a C8 for a customer yesterday. So with the new C8 Corvette coming out, we got 12 allocations that we can sell. I only sold two of them. Uh, they all sold out pretty quick. And the first one that I sold, we were placing the order for that car yesterday. So the allocation was able to be pulled, and this is what he ordered. All right, so basically what he went with here was a Arctic White Z51 2LT Coupe with the body color uh, roof. It's gonna take the roof off there. You'll see he went with the adrenaline red interior. If I can angle this the right way. You also notice he has the red engine cover, the red calipers with the Spectra Gray machine Trident wheels. Just a really nice spec. This car is going to be awesome. You can build your car on Chevy's website. Just go to Chevy.com to Corvette Stingray and there's a spot that says design yours and you can kind of go through all the different options and pick exactly what you would want. That's gonna be an absolutely beautiful car. Thank you. Thanks. A couple of you guys, uh, Mike and Jeff, commented about doing a PDI video, which stands for pre-delivery inspection. Uh, awesome idea. I don't really know uh, if, I gotta get somebody involved in the shop with doing something like that. So that's definitely something I will give a shot to see if I can get it done. 
and just kind of explain the process of what happens in a pre-delivery inspection. You know, the vehicle comes in from the factory and there's a procedure that the dealership will go through just to make sure like the fluids are topped off. I think they run like a computer program on it. We put our Schumacher license plate frames on it. You know, you open up any accessories like uh, floor mats or if there's splash guards or, you know, anything that would be dealer installed. Like you'll see Corvette C8 videos where aftermarket wheels, or I should say aftermarket accessory wheels and high wing spoilers and stuff like that, they get shipped to the dealership separate and then the dealership installs them on the car before delivery. So that's all part of a PDI or pre-delivery inspection. And uh, that's definitely a good idea. I would love to be able to get one of the techs to do it with me, kind of like an interview and we can kind of go through the process as they're doing it on one of our vehicles. So I'll work on that and see if I can get something like that done. That's sort of similar to the idea that Alan had, which is if I get a referral or a customer, uh, maybe that I'm close with that I can put in a video and just have the whole interaction with the customer and myself, uh, you know, which is an awesome idea. I would love to do something like that. And hopefully uh, one day I'll have a customer who's maybe a little bit more willing to get in front of a camera and a little more comfortable because it's funny, you can kind of talk like a regular person and you can interact with society on a regular basis. But the instant you put a camera on, it seems to change things and uh, you know it's like an awkwardness to it I still go through it now making these videos and filming but um you know if I can find a customer who's maybe has a social following that's buying a car from me it might make it a little easier uh, and uh, definitely a cool concept can you feel it regular thanks some other ideas were like Chevy versus Ford, um, behind the scenes, behind the scenes editing these videos, which I actually thought about putting like an uncut video because you'd be surprised the stuff that happens behind the scenes that you guys aren't seeing when I edit these videos. You know, like for instance, turning the camera forward and back and placing it somewhere and just all the stuff that happens in between that I cut out to make the videos the way I make them. Uh, it could be pretty interesting. So maybe one day I'll throw up like an uncut version of one of these videos. But, um, you know, just a lot of great comments. Uh, I really appreciate you guys contributing and uh, giving me some ideas and stuff like that. And I'm going to try to touch on all this. And I think uh, I think Reed had the, the best idea is just put stuff out there. It doesn't matter what it is. Get it out there. You know, dealership style stuff. And, uh, you know, just get some get some watch time up. So a whole bunch of stuff is gonna happen. You know, I'm just gonna keep on doing it. I enjoy doing it. And uh, little by little, I hope the channel uh, just grows. You know, last week I got 76 new subscribers. So I'm super happy about that. Thank you all for subscribing and uh, being part of the Dave B Sales Chevy crew. Okay. In addition to getting those cars all uh, gassed and ready for detail for the date that they're going to be delivered, I'm also getting all the paperwork together. So like trade stock tags, lease return forms, anything I need for the deal, insurance binders. Uh, we're getting squared away today while we're not that busy. This way, hopefully later on, if we are busy, I can get in front of some more customers and maybe sell some more cars. Uh, we're doing decent for the month. Today's the 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. And uh, right now we're at nine sold. Seven new, two used. All right, today's a fairly uneventful day. There's not too much going on. I leave in an hour, but I want to show you something real quick before I go. I just found out something unfortunate. I sold a car last month and the customer's okay, which is important, but this is the car. And, you know, I just want to take this time to kind of point out how safe cars really are. You know, this car is now considered totaled by the insurance company based on the damage that they assessed. Uh, the driver's airbag and the knee airbag actually did deploy. These airbags are knee airbags in certain cars that help protect your shins and stuff like that. Obviously, you can see the main airbag deployed. Um, crumple zones did their thing. Like this hood, like all cars, have crumple zones underneath that when the energy comes from the front, moves through the hood, hits that crumple zone, it basically crumples the hood exactly as it sounds and does that this way it doesn't come through the car i'm not a body shop guy so i really don't know the extent of the damage here but what i can tell you with as bad as this hit is to the point that it crumpled the fender you can still open and close the door perfectly to get in and out of the car which is the important thing you know you want to be in a car that's safe the cruise is a very safe vehicle um you know it's unfortunate this happened Again, luckily the uh, client is okay. That's the important thing. But, uh, you know, listen, 
be safe out there. Drive safe, wear your seatbelts.